Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Thank you for stopping by for this video. I am very sorry about the little break that I had to take in between this summer home tour series. I caught a little cold and so I was trying to rest up. So I am back to filming. I am going to be showing you guys the family room today, how I have it decorated for the summer. And then I am hoping that within the next few days I will have an outdoor home decor summer tour for you guys as well. So without further ado, let's get started with the family room. Okay, so I am standing up like partially in the kitchen area leading to the family room. I have already shown you guys this whole spot and everything behind me, which is the dining room, kitchen, and living room. And so walking down the stairs, we have two pieces of wall decor. We also have this one, but I did talk about it already. So these two that I have not yet mentioned um, are just kind of cascading down the stairs. This first one right here that says, together we make a family with three little birds on it is from Kirkland's. I love the frame, it's very vintage looking. I love the color schemes. And then this one came from Bed Bath & Beyond. This one I love as well, it's very rustic and farmhouse looking. And then taking a couple steps down the stairs, we are now in the family room. And this room has changed the most, I would say, since my last home tour down here. Um, we did change out the floors. We used to have carpeting down here and Matt took out the carpeting and placed this type of flooring down. I'm not sure exactly what kind it is, but we also have a rug down here, which is new. And then we also changed up the furniture just a bit, which I will talk about. All right, so beginning on this side or in this corner here, um, we have our coat closet and our crawl space right over here, our bathroom right behind this door. Right over here, Aiden has this little basketball net. He loves playing down here. And then we have this really pretty yellow flowery wreath that I believe came from Walmart. I don't even know, five or six years ago. So then moving on, we have this baker's rack. It is a wicker baker's rack. And this was found and purchased from a thrift store five years ago when we began renting our first house. This once was a tannish type of like true wicker color. And I spray painted it white, which you guys may have seen the video for on my channel. As I'm sure many of you guys have noticed with the furniture transformations that I've done on my channel and that I have talked about doing and planning on doing, I love how white furniture just really brightens up the room. Especially down here, we do not get a lot of natural lighting. And so anything that I can kind of do to create more of a brighter appearance, I definitely want to do, such as these doors very soon. That is a project that I would love to get started on. But yeah, so this baker's rack holds quite a lot. It's got a mixture of like home decor and then storage down here. Um, starting right up here on this top shelf, we have quite a few different pieces. So in the back, we have this really, really beautiful painting. My mom found this from Goodwill. I love this painting. I think it is so like magical looking with the balloons and the colors of the trees. And then we have a couple other things in front. We have this peach little lantern that came from Michael's last summer. And then a rock, or actually two rocks here, that my mother-in-law and my son picked out for the house. They just say, live, laugh, love, and the rock is in the shape of a heart. And then I have this adorable little picture frame that was also found at Goodwill. I think that this is so cute for the summer. It's got a little pot of flowers, some like rain boots or working boots, and then a little rolled up hose on the top right there. And then inside of that picture frame is a picture of Aiden. I think he was like three years old here. We were in front of the house that we were previously renting before we bought this one. And these were the Cosmo seeds, the first Cosmos that him and I ever planted together. And you can see just like in the front there how big they got. They were awesome that year. I have to give you guys a garden update too very soon. Um, and then on the side of that, we have this little faux flower arrangement. I believe this came from 
Michaels. I love the detailing, the rope that is tied around the like stone vase. And then moving down here, we have this wooden tray that was found and purchased from Target. And inside of there, I have all of my rocks and stones. Most of these came from Home Goods. I want to say all of them came from Home Goods, except this one back here, this pink one, came from Target. This one came from Target. And then this one right here came from the Dominican Republic. So this one, this one, and this one were all found and purchased from Home Goods. And then on the side of that rock collection, I have this vase. It's like a ombre type of vase. This was found and purchased from Kirkland's. It does light up inside. I will have to plug it in in a second. And then right in front of that, I have another one of these candles. I do have one in our living room that I did mention um, that was purchased from Home Goods. All right, so here's the baker's rack with the lights that I have hung around it. I wish I would have had these lights on the entire time, but between this pregnancy and me just getting over this cold, my mind is just all over the place, so I'm sorry about that. But here is what that light looks like um, once it's lit. It's really pretty. Like I said, it came from Kirkland's. And then down here on this third shelf, I have this adorable log cabin. And this was found at Home Goods. But I love this thing. I thought that this was going to be like a summertime only type of fixture or decor piece, but it has stayed out year round. I kind of just change what's in this little section here to go with whatever season it is. So this is definitely one of my favorite decor pieces in this room. I just think it's so cozy and cute. I love log cabins. And then on these two bottom shelves here, um, we have photo boxes and they contain a ton of photos. I have all of my family's photos at our house. My brothers, sisters, my extended family, mom, dad, all of that. So I have an abundance of photo boxes down in this room. I will probably end up having more as time goes on, but I think that they're so cute and being able to kind of pull these out and look at them with our family members from time to time is really easy and you would never know that there's so much in there. That's why I love photo boxes. So again, here is an overview of the baker's rack with the pretty twinkly lights that I have draped around here. Um, these lights I think came from Target during Christmas season. They do have like a little twinkling effect to them. The bulbs are bigger than the regular string lighting that I use but these are just as easy to kind of drape over a furniture piece. So moving on to this part of the room, we have our laundry room behind this door, and this door has this really beautiful, sparkly, rose gold, glittery wreath on it. And this I found at Home Goods during their Christmas season two years ago. I keep it up year round just because it's too pretty to put away and I don't think it looks too like Christmassy or holiday-ish. So I have seen wreaths like this since I bought this one and so if you are looking for a really sparkly glittery wreath just wait until Christmas winter time rolls back around and check out Home Goods because they do have quite a big selection of these type of wreaths there. And then we have this little wooden shelving unit. This was purchased from Target. This has found a new spot since the last time that I did a home tour. Before it was like right in this corner over here where the couch is, but we decided to put it here. It is a little bit taller than the previous furniture piece that we had here. I love the finish on this. It's got like some really pretty different colored woods in here. On the top here, we have this really beautiful light. This I found a long time ago when we first started renting our house from Home Goods. I have seen similar ones since then though, so Home Goods does carry a lot of these types of lights. I love the pattern that it gives off on the wall behind there. And it's just a very cozy dim light. It does not add much brightness to the room at all, but it's cozy and I know you guys know that I love the cozy feels and the cozy vibes throughout the house. 
I have this cute little birdhouse that Matt actually found and picked out all by himself. I was very surprised because this is exactly my type of home decor. He found this at Home Depot on sale and when he bought it, it had its own little plant in here. Unfortunately, that plant has since died, but I do have a faux sparkly succulent plant. And then that little birdhouse is sitting on a lace type of doily. And then we have another flower arrangement. The flower arrangement and the pot were sold separately. They were both found from Michael's though. And then moving down here, I have a bunch of storage. So again, I love the fact that this furniture piece is holding home decor on the top, but storage on the bottom. From now on, whenever we go furniture shopping for whatever reason, that is what I'm looking for. Something that is multifunctional, um, that can hold both home decor, which you guys know I love, but can also be used as storage, which I need in our lives at this point. Down here, we have a few things going on. Right in this area, I have this wicker basket that has a little spot for writing, which I love. It's a little chalkboard sign. This I found at Home Goods. And then contained in here, I have all of our family movies that I've created. I, I am definitely the family photographer um, within my family. I love taking photos and videos. And then I also love coming home and kind of putting everything that I have taken for an event or a period of time and putting them in to a DVD. Below that we have a photo box, again, filled with photos. And then I have another wicker basket. This one I believe was found at Walmart. And inside of there I have all of my essential oil type of things. I have a um, cleaning rag, a little cleaning brush, um, some pamphlets, and then a book, two books of essential oil recipes, some stickers back here. And then below that I have all of my essential oils in here. Let me see if I can open this up really quick. All right, so you, there you can kind of see what I have going on in here. Um, all of the essential oils that I have were pretty much found and purchased from Amazon, as well as this case. I am going to be trying to do an Amazon haul soon because I've gathered up quite a bit of Amazon products that I would love to share with you guys. Um, but this is one of the recent purchases that I've found there. And then moving down to this bottom shelf here, we have another collection of photo boxes. These are completely filled to capacity. They are so heavy. And then I have some more photo albums. And then on the side of that, we have this magazines holder. This came from my mother-in-law. I'm not sure where she got it, but I love it. I love the color of it. It's very rustic. It also has some really nice hardware to give it like a modern feel. I just really like how this looks and it kind of hides all of the cords that we have going back there. So then we have our fireplace and our mantle area. Um, this you guys know I love decorating each season. It's my favorite spot in the, this room to decorate. Okay, so right down on this ledge here I have this wedding canvas that my wedding photographer actually sent to us as a total surprise, um, which was awesome. And then I have our thank you card right down in the corner here. And then I have this Himalayan salt lamp that I purchased from Home Goods. And then on this side, we have um, the tobacco basket. I always get confused between tobacco and Tabasco basket. Um, but we have the tobacco basket that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, which I talked about in a farmhouse decor haul that I did on my channel recently. This is the larger size. And then right in front of that, we have this shadow box. This came from Etsy and it has our names on there. And then when we started dating, and then inside of there, we have all of the wine corks and then some of the um, beer bottle caps that were from our wedding night. And then up here is our mantle. So right over, starting on this side, I have this like glass birdhouse. I don't know what it's supposed to be or what it should be named, but this I found from the store at home. You guys may remember this being in our dining room. 
I did mention that I brought it down and found a new spot for it to kind of clear up some space up there. And so this is another piece that I kind of change out seasonally. So right now I just have some daisies in there that I kind of plucked the stems off of. These faux flowers were all found at Michael's. And then I also have a little owl that kind of hangs out in there. Throughout the year, I just changed the floral um, to match the season. And then I have this lantern right here with a faux flower in it, as well as one back here. Both of these Matt found, I think he purchased them from Walgreens, but again, he was right on point with my home decor style. And then here is the middle of the mantle. And on both sides of this wreath here, I have these candle stands or candlesticks. I don't know. Um, these were purchased from Home Goods. I love these because they give the room a little bit of a different feel. And I just love the pops of sparkle and silver. So those are both sitting on little lace doilies. I don't know where I got those from. Um, but in the middle of the candles, I have this cotton stem wreath. And this is another item that was featured in that farmhouse home haul. Um, this was found at Hobby Lobby. I love this wreath. It is so big, so lush. I just think it fits perfectly down here. In front of there, I have some really pretty like sparkly crystals. These were all purchased from Home Goods. They are all Oleg Cassini products and they're super sparkly. I love these. I definitely have a mixture of the figurines. I have a pineapple here, a butterfly, a little porcupine, and then a turtle. So there's definitely no theme when it comes to these crystals, but I just think they're so pretty how sparkly they are. And then I don't think that I mentioned that these um, candle holders from Home Goods do hold a three wick Bath and Body Works candle. That is what I have in both holders. And then over here I have another thing, another collection of cotton stems. Those are sitting in a little galvanized can. I have a little like air freshener right in there as well. And then I have this beautiful wooden crate that I found last fall at Michael's. The galvanized can I believe came from Michaels as well and then these cotton stems were found at Hobby Lobby. Down here we have this little tree. Um, I can't think of what these trees are called but I love 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 this piece. I had been looking for something like this for so long about a year and a half before I finally came across this one. I didn't want to spend too too much and that's what I kept finding during my search for these. This one I found at the store at home. It did not come pre-lit, but I did put quite a few lights throughout this, as you can see. I would love to add a couple more to our house or to our outside at some point. And then moving on to this part of the room, we have our two seating reclining couch. This is the couch set that we purchased when we began renting our first house. This was purchased from um, Value City. I do have some pillows on here. These two came from the store at home. This one came from Home Goods. And then I have a blanket sitting behind there that came from Home Goods. It's a really nice, fun, summery blanket. I love all the pops of colors. And then above the couch, I have another wall decor, wall art that I found from Goodwill. This one is another one of my favorite finds from Goodwill. Then we have a light in this corner, and this is like our electrical box right here. So this light right here was purchased as a set from Walmart. And then I have this rose gold mirrored table that I purchased from Target during their after Christmas sale. It was a really, really good deal. I have some faux flowers sitting on that that I purchased from the store at home. And then I have a glass photo frame that my friend got me. And then Aiden's got his collection of balls that he uses down here for that basketball net that I previously talked about. I have another magazine holder that I found from Goodwill. 
And then up here we have this huge wooden ledge that is just filled with home decor. So we will start on this side. I have this faux greenery. Again, I can't think of what this is supposed to be called, but this I found from Home Goods. I love how green these leaves are. They're very bright and bold. And then they are sitting in this rose gold, beautiful vase or pot. And then I have this little sign that my sister won at a baby shower, I think that we were at. And she gave to me because she knows my style so well. Behind the faux plant and this little family sign, I have, and behind all of this home decor, I have some more string lighting that I just placed right here to kind of light up this ledge. And then right in this section, I have some wedding stuff. So I have this picture frame. It's like a white paneled wooden picture frame that I found from Kirkland's. And then on the side of that picture frame, I have this basket. It's personalized with our initials. This was found on Etsy. And then I have a little like hot plate back there that was purchased for our um, bridal shower. And then I have some of the faux flowers that we used for our bridal shower, along with a little heart box that my maid of honor painted and gave to me during the bridal shower. Um, and then I have some of these like little ceramic birds that were found at Michael's. On the side of that, I have another picture frame that kind of goes with this one um, with the bow and everything. This one says Mr. and Mrs. It's got a picture of our wedding ceremony. And this, my best friend gave to me at our engagement party. Above that, I have this paneled wall piece that says love makes the world go round. Family makes the ride worthwhile. This I found from the store American Sale. And then below this part of the ledge here, we have our three seating reclining couch that goes with this as a set from Value City. We also have a sleeping chihuahua. <laughs> and then right on the back of this couch, I have this draped over. This is actually a towel that I purchased from um, home goods. So moving on, we have our, it's kind of hard to see with the window back here, but we have this wooden S trying to get the best lighting. I don't think I'm going to achieve that. Um, but this came from home goods. And then I have this little tricycle that I found at Michael's and inside of there, I have a little, I don't even know, floral arrangement. Um, this is just like a bunch of champagne colored flowers. These were all purchased from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're very pretty. They're very different looking. I love how dull they are. They're not like a bright yellow gold or anything, but those are all sitting in a little mason jar that was painted. Um, I believe I got this mason jar at Michael's. And then we have our backyard out here. This is our only form of natural light within this room. I would love to add a bigger window or another window down here just because I am a huge fan of natural lighting, especially during these summer months. Below this ledge, we have our original TV stand. Like I mentioned, this was purchased from Target.com. So it has that same multicolored wood finish finish which I love um, we have a little light here that matches or that came with this bigger light back there this was purchased like I said as a set from Walmart I have my little Bose speaker right below that this flower arrangement is actually the bouquet that I tossed at the wedding reception um, my sister caught the bouquet and she knows how sentimental this kind of stuff is to me so this bouquet is just hanging out right here and it is in this beautiful glittery champagne glass that I purchased as a set um, from Etsy. I got I think 10 of them and I gave these out to my bridesmaids on the bridal shower. This diffuser I purchased from Amazon and then I have a little collection of kind of like seasonal summery type of um, magazines and books and then down here again below 
the space for home decor, we have storage space. So in here, I have all of my workout DVDs that are all nice and dusty because they have not been used or touched or even thought about for so long. Hopefully once this pregnancy is done, um, these will get some use again. But on the side of there, I have another photo box that is filled with all of Aiden's school stuff from his first year of kindergarten. I have to go through these and kind of clear some stuff out. Um, Cause as you can see, I have stuff in here that doesn't even fit. Um, but I do keep one of these for each one of his school years. I am going to try a new method soon because I know as he goes throughout school, we are going to end up with quite a big and bulky collection of these photo boxes. Um, and so I'm going to try something else out. I will be doing a video on that when that time comes. And then we have a drawer here that has all of Aiden's like kids type of DVDs. All right, and then moving on to this last section of the room. So right here we have this rose gold little lantern that I purchased from Home Goods, And it came with a like little battery operated candle in there that I took out and I just added part of the string lighting that we have running across this ledge. And then on the side of that, I have this wooden treasure box. This was found and purchased from Etsy for our wedding. As you can see, it is personalized down there. And inside of here, we have all of our wedding cards that we received the night of our wedding. Above that, I have this little canvas that I believe my sister-in-law purchased for us. And I think she found this at Home Goods. And then on the side of that, I have a wine bottle that I kind of personalized and completely filled with rose gold glitter. Inside of there, I have a collection of coral flowers. And this whole arrangement we used at our engagement party, our bridal shower, and I believe this was at our wedding as well. I love bringing out our wedding decor for the summer just because we did have a summer wedding. In front of this part of the ledge, I have this circular rotating couch that we found on clearance at Value City. It definitely goes with these two couches very well, but it was not part of that collection. I have a bunch of pillows on here. These two back pillows came with this couch. And then I have another Hello pillow. This one is in navy blue with gold sequins. It matches this like coral one back here. They were both from Home Goods. And then I have this like ruffly one. I love the texture and feel of this one. This one was purchased from Meyer. And then I have this little bolster, I think it's called. And then this last part of the ledge. I have this Hello Sunshine. These are separate little wooden um, pieces. These were found last year at the Target Dollar Spot. And then I have this wicker basket that holds a bunch of Instagram books that I have just had sent to me um, from this company. Here's the company name right back here. It's Chat Books. They just automatically send you um, these little tiny Instagram books. I love these. I need to start doing them again. Something got logged off or something and so I stopped getting these automatically sent to me. I think they're like six or eight dollars a book. And once you reach 60 new photos on your Instagram, they will automatically send you a book filled with your Instagram photos. So this is really nice to just kind of keep, um, if you're not too big into photography or making photo books or printing pictures, um, these are just effortless way to kind of keep track of your pictures. And then sitting behind there, I have this little collection of miniature, mums i think they are this little arrangement was found at michael's last year i love this arrangement of flowers i think it's so cute with this little detailing that is wrapped around the stems i have a rose gold picture of matt and i when we first started dating this picture is so old and then the lighting is just horrible right in this corner because of this lantern but this is a wax warmer that i found at target it's like a mason jar Edison bulb type of a wax warmer. Right above there, we have this canvas that I found at, I think, Home Goods, maybe. 
And then I have this collection of 8x10s here. My plan is to definitely paint these frames. I want to like use chalk paint and paint them white and gray, um, which I will show once I do. I will show that whole process on my channel. because I think it's always fun to watch how things can be transformed by just changing their color. Um, and so I'm really excited to do this project as well. And then below the end of this ledge, I have this collection right here. I love this corner of the room. So right here we have this huge lantern that I found at Home Goods. Inside of there we have our wedding or my wedding day bouquet. I used um, a bundle of dried up flowers that I purchased from an Etsy seller. I just love how the bouquet looks in this lantern. Super vintage looking I think. And then that is just sitting on top of this wooden crate that we had personalized for us from another Etsy seller. It says, Love is Sweet, Matthew and Deanna, May 7th, 2016. This was originally supposed to be our cake stand, but I did not do my homework in making sure that this was going to be the right size or shape for our cake that we chose. So this didn't end up being used as a cake stand at our wedding but more of like decor but I love how this looks right here so I'm still very glad that we ended up buying this and then on the side of that I have two pillar candles sitting in two huge vases both the pillar candles and the vases were purchased from home goods and then we have the man cave which I have yet to really show you guys down here um, we are planning on finishing this part of the house I will definitely do like a before and after and a progress video once we start on that. Um, but if you would like to see how that is set up currently, just let me know and I will do a tour. And then real quick, this rug was purchased from Kmart. My sister um, actually got this on an extreme sale. I think this rug cost her only like $6. And so we are definitely planning on spending a lot of time down here once the baby comes. Um, we usually don't spend too much time down here. Usually our family time is spent in the living room upstairs, but the dogs do primarily spend their time upstairs in the living room. And so I think we will spend a lot of time down here, you know, just without the bigger dogs. And I definitely plan on doing a lot of vlogging again once our baby girl arrives. So you will see this room a lot more, I'm sure. We have this little carpet area that she can kind of spend some time on um, because the rest of the house is primarily hardwood floors. And so this carpet space will be really, really nice once she arrives. And now that the summer home tours are kind of wrapping up, I still, like I said, want to do the outside. Um, but once that one is done, I'm going to start slowly decorating for the fall, which I am so excited about. I definitely want to have all of our decorations up before the baby girl arrives and she is due in mid-September. So I don't have too much time before she comes, but I will have an entire Decorate With Me, Clean With Me series up on my channel. So stay tuned for that within the next like couple weeks, I would say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care, bye.